Okay, so welcome back to another video. Here today we have a uh, floor equation that we want to solve, and it's to find all real numbers x such that the following equation, the floor of 1 over x plus the floor of 3 over x is equal to 4. It's um, pretty straightforward, just use the definition of, you know, the floor function, in other words it's known as the greatest integer function. Examples you have like maybe uh, 1.5, the floor of that is 1 pi, which is 3.4, that's equal to 3. The floor of E, 2.71, the floor of that is 2, or, you know, the floor of 1 is 1, or floor of 100 is 100, you know, that, that's the definition of the greatest integer function. Using that property, we know that um, the floor function is equal to some integer k such that k is less than or equal to whatever the input of the floor value is and then let's stroke the less than k plus one because it's in be because it is in between those integers over there strictly so if we use that definition then we can actually be able to find some um, real numbers x satisfying the following equation but that's um basically the gist of it is um the answer should be it has to be in a form of uh, you know inequality because we are dealing with numbers in between in order to help satisfy the following so anyway, let's actually just jump right in. So let's actually make a little substitution. I'll call, um, we'll specifically this term the floor of one over X. Uh, we'll call this um, K. So we let K equals the floor of one over X, um, such well for K is some integer. Then by using that definition, then that would have to say that K is less than or equal to one over X strictly less than k plus one but we also but we also have one that's dealing with three over x as well for the floor function so let's actually um put that to the side as well so i'll denote this as a dash that's saying that we have another one that we need to satisfy so we just multiply three to the following over here so then that will have to mean we have that three times k is less than or equal to three divided by k strictly less than three times k plus one or three k plus three all right, so now we actually just put in the substitution back so we know that we would have k, then add this with the floor of three divided by x, and then that's, of course, equal to four. But if we actually just said three over x, um, the floor of that by itself, then in other words, we would have that, this is just four subtract k. So let me just reiterate that. This equal to, this will be uh, four subtract K. So using this, using this, we can actually form ourselves a little inequality over here. So we would, we can say that um, the inequality. So let me switch this back to pink. So we have the following inequality over here. So we have that this will be four minus k is less than or equal to three over x, which is less than. So add this by one. So this will be uh, five subtract k. So now with this inequality over here, we're actually going to um, analyze the following. So we have four minus k is less than or equal to three over x, and then three over x is strictly less than three k plus three. So we'll actually just use that and analyze the following with the three over x. So in this case, so let's analyze uh, four subtract k, which we said that that's less than or equal to three over x. Then we also want to focus that three over x is less than, strictly less than, um, 3k plus 3. With this, let's actually set the extreme left hand side and right hand side um, with the inequality, so with the comparison over there. So therefore, we would say that we would look at uh, 4 minus k is strictly less than 3k plus 3. Okay, since they fall under the 3 over x with that whole um, definition with the integer or the um, floor function. So we just solve for k, that's actually pretty straightforward. So we have 4 um, 4k, which is less than 1, I just subtract the 3, then add the, um, subtract the 3 to over here, and then subtract the 4 over here. That's actually supposed to be a minus 1, so negative 1. Then we can see that this is just k is, um, well, greater than or e greater than um, 1 over 4. So we have one part of the inequality, so let's actually solve the other part, which we have that it's um, 3k is less than or equal to 3 over x. Then we also want to analyze the other part with 3 over x is um, less than 5 minus k. So let's um, pay attention to that and see what we can um, achieve from there. So we have 3k 
less than or equal to three over X and three over X less than five minus K. Apply that same te technique. So three K strictly less than five minus K. If we just solve for the inequality, then we have that K is um, less than five over four. Okay, and if we just combine the inequalities together, everything is under three over over uh, for under three over x. We're specifically looking at. We form the inequality that um, one over four is less than k, which is less than five over four. And notice that because we're looking at k is for some integers, so in this inequality we see that this has to be for k is equal to one. For you know k is an integer. Okay, so now let's actually plug back to um, plug k equals one back to our inequality. We're gonna plug k equals one back to the um, this inequality over here. So let me just underline this. We're gonna plug this back over here, and then we're also gonna plug the k equals one back to over here as well, underlined in red. So these are the two inequalities that we're gonna plug k equals one back in and see what we can get. That means for um, so if I plug k equals one over here, so We'll just do this one step at a time. Then we have that this is just one less than or equal to one over X uh, less than two, all right? Then for the next part, I'll write an and. Then if we plug K is equal one back to over here, so four minus one, that is three, which is uh, less than or equal to three over X, strictly less than four. All right, so now let's actually just um, flip the reciprocal to both of these inequalities so that the center is just x. So that would also mean that we have to flip our signs as well. By doing so, we have that this is just one half uh, strictly less than x, which is uh, less than or equal to one. Then over here, we flip the inequality or flip the reciprocal to everything. So this will just be one over three. This will be one over four. Um, but then you have to multiply the three and then of course the signs flip So that means we have that this is three over four uh, Strictly less than X less than or equal to one All right And now from here is that if we just combine the inequalities together We have of course one half is smaller than three over four So we can just disregard this because this is also with the greater um, less than or equal to one just like over here So if we just pay attention to that the only really thing is that X can fall between three over four and one inclusive so therefore the final answer is that um, x for the real numbers that satisfies the following so that means we have three over four is strictly less than x which is less than or equal to one and so that is our final answer the following compound inequality that satisfies our floor equation given above so yeah that's uh pretty cool if you ask me